Who wants to be with Dom's Rules right here and welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack of Rings. For some reason, my brother has misplaced my freaking advertisement. But whatever it is, you guys know it as always. Please check out um, Funky Figures, they are awesome. Please check them out, that's where most of my stuff comes from. We're still working on Yu-Gi-Oh! trying to try and bring some products in. And if we get them in, that means people can start selling their stuff and we can actually buy some singles there too. But today, people still can't shut up about this set, this structure deck. And it's time for me to actually open it up for myself. I stayed away from this um, on release day because I knew this was going to be tier zero. And it fucking is. Sorry for the swearing. Because this deck really hurts me a lot because it's freaking annoying. Because I don't know a lot of decks out there that were tier zero that were fire slash pyro monsters except for nobles the no noble um noble knights but they weren't extremely strong either they weren't even tier zero i think they were classed as rogue so pretty much because they did have some good stuff on the around table box but nobody really cared about it it was just it was just a main thing but this is absolutely devastated so many plays it's become tier zero it's a winning deck all along this is the viking structure deck and you may be thinking, what else does this Viking work with? It works with one call more than anything. Snake Eyes. If you have Snake Eyes, you build this deck, you pretty much win Nationals all day long. Um, except for, there is people, there has been a rumours, well, you know, there was a video recently about um, a Cosmo player absolutely thrashed him. And I was shocked. So, yeah. But anyhow, if you want to make this deck a lot, lot stronger, of course, you have Snake Eyes and everything. But if you don't have Snake Eyes... These cards here from Age of Origin, especially the new Zeus card and Dark Hole Dragon. Very, very good cards to use it. You got some also some different fire pyro monsters, especially the new Gaia card. Triple Traxxas Thrust from, uh, from Hypernova. And then you got yourself the um, Super Heavy Samurai card, but also Trap Tricks from the um, Cyberstorm access. But nobody really cared about them. All they cared about was Snake Eyes, and that's all it needed to work. So let's have a look at this structure deck for myself. I am curious myself. I've seen people play it. I still don't have a clue how the deck really works because I didn't really care about it. But like me, as always, I like coming in very late in the game. Even though, possibly, as this video has been recorded, some of these cards are banned, possibly, because a lot of people actually start to sell their Viking Snake Eyes on eBay for an extremely high amount of money because they want to try and sell their stuff now before it gets hit in the ban list so this card here i think it's going to be one of the cards that's going to get hit the sacred viking um Gauranix. if your monster was in the original fire time and it was destroyed by a phase you can special summon this card from your, from your graveyard wow very strong good card to be honest uh viking high avatar kieran which be, is another big hitter uh, Viking Avatar Ragball. Viking Sanctuary, very good spell card. Um, Eternity Hang of the Viking. This is maybe the boss monster for the XEs. Uh, Viking Skyburn. Um, the Ecleon of the Viking. Legendary Viking Phonix, which is another one that makes um, pretty much you get this guy out more, a lot, lot easier. And it is a level 1. There's the original uh, Viking Avatar, which we all know very well back in the day. Uh, Viking Avatar Barong, um, Yaxi, Kirin, we got da Dragon Ruler, Dragon Ruler Spark, Coach Captain, okay, weird, Coach Soldier, True King the Vanisher, it's a whim, okay. Old school card back in GX era, nice. Kaiju, nice common as well. Blazing Mars. Bonfire Colossal. Coloss uh, Colossus? That's freaking insanely cool. If you control a fire monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if this card is special summon, target two fire monsters you control and destroy those targets. Very interesting. Sacred Phoenix and Ephius, a Royal Firestorm Guard, Spirit of Flames, a Fire Ferret. These are quite easy ones. Nice common. This is the card that a lot of people may buy this structure deck for anyhow. If you guys didn't really care about Vikings, this was the stru this was the card you wanted for the deck. Draw Lot Bird. Best hand trap ever at the moment in um, tournaments. Um, Onslaught of the Viking. 
Um, Circle of the Vikings. Uh, Tanky, of course. Dark Hole. Trading. Herald of the Abyss. Uh, Flame Veil Counter. Chain Destruction. Torrential Tribute. Solemn Judgment. A common. Oh, an Imperm as well. Ooh. And some. Oh, wow, we. Cool. And. Oh, wow. Really? Is a common? That's cool. So, yeah. Um, for hand traps, freaking amazing. Um, out of all of them, three big hitters right there. And, and as commons, very, very nice. But what do I think of the structure deck? Even though I've only went past it quite quickly, it's really, really good uh, for what I've seen and what I can re speed read for it all. Because pretty much, mainly, besides these, that, this, and if I'm at that, and that are your main ones you need, and especially that if you really, really want to. The other stuff is perfectly fine, but I don't see anybody playing that type of stuff. It's mainly just them five cards, and then boom, you're done. You get three, three play sets of these, boom, you're ready. That's your call already to start off with. But like I said, I'm going to give it a go myself, and I might test it out with some friends of mine. And see what I think about it. And probably I might find another cool deck that I like to try out more often. So, what do I think about, about it? I give it a nice solid 8 out of 10. Fire Kings, like I said, I don't know how they work. I don't know how they play. And all I know that they work with uh, Fire, Pyro and Winged Beast monsters. Which is fine in my eyes. But for the time being, I want to give it a test shot. I know in the future when I'm playing this properly, it's going to be a solid 10. Because it is tier 0. But again... It makes it tier 0 because of the Snake Eyes. If you don't have Snake Eyes, this could either be a tier 1, or it could even be a Rogue deck in the near future. But, like I said, if the ban list gets hit and this card gets hit, the whole deck is dead. Okay? Without this card, the deck is nothing. So, yeah. I will not be surprised if, if people are actually selling these like, for stupid money in the future. Anyway, people, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm very sorry if it was a very, very short episode. This month is going to be quite a very odd one because I've been extremely busy. I'm not bought hardly any products this month. So, I've just been digging out archives of stuff that I need to open up in the past. I'm going to open them up today. So with that being said, the people are still going to you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! 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 Oh my god! We got him! We got him! Oh my god! No! Yeah!